This is the S1 sketch that we created before that reads and writes and blinks. And when I've noticed that a lot of the stuff that's going on in here is all about serial printing. So in order to streamline things a little later, I'd like to define some macros that'll let me avoid typing too much on this serial print stuff. So let's go up here and I'll define the uppercase P token to be the same thing as serial.print. And that'll save me from typing serial print over and over again. So I could go down here, for example, and turn that into a P now. And I'll save this sketch as S1.1. And let's try it and see what happens. It's doing exactly the same sorts of things as it was doing before. It's still printed out Hello World, so that part worked and everything worked out okay. So that's good. Well, another thing we'd like to do fairly often is to be able to print out a space and a comma in between two numerical values, because usually we don't want all of this, uh, uh, all of these letters in between. We just want the numbers that we're interested in uh, in working with. So uh, let's define p printing with a comma and a space to be serial.print with a comma and a space and a new statement serial.print and what that will do is every time we've got PCS it will replace it with all of this stuff and so I could make for instance down here the micros function, I could just print that out with a P. And then after that, I'd like to follow it with a comma and a space in the next one. Well, I'm going to skip this bit entirely. I just want the number that comes from the digital read. So I'll print with a comma and a space whatever comes back from digital read. So let's run that. And then I might want to be able to put my new line and everything together uh, with whatever was coming out next. So let's try define PC S. So with a comma and a space and a new line as serial dot print we'll still have the comma and the space whoops quote comma space quote and we'll still have another statement serial print but we're going to do it as a serial print line this time so it'll print with a new line when we when we call the uh, call the function with this macro. So now I'm going to get rid of this and I'd like to PCSL whatever's coming out of analog read. So that should put the new line there as well. So I can get rid of those, run that, and let's see what happens. So I've got the numbers coming out. I've got a comma and a space, which makes them easy to read. And then another number, comma and space. And the big plus here is I'll be able to grab these values later and cut them and paste them into a spreadsheet or into a comma separated values file. So I'm getting nicely formatted data. 
and I've defined some macros that are going to make it really easy to handle that printing without having to type serial.print over and over and over again. And that'll make it a lot easier for us to print out everything that we want all the way along and keep track so that we can debug by knowing what the actual values are that we're calculating. So defining these macros, huge, uh, huge saving of time on your typing. So incorporate that into your sketches.